cushion in fourth place. Do you start to look ahead to perhaps maybe catching Chelsea? Are they in your sights? We're going to get my game and um, today we played some uh, really good football. We won the game, we competed really well, but there are still a lot of things that uh, we have to do much better. So uh, we have a lot of room for improvement and, um, and I focus on that, maintain the things that we're doing so well now that are giving us results and consistency and uh, try to improve the rest and um, the rest will come. It's two years on from your appointments um, as, as, uh, as manager of Arsenal. Um, how would you assess your own performance at that time? <laughs> well, very difficult in a few words. Um, first of all, I want I should complete gratitude um, for the opportunity that I was given, the people that I work with, uh, the company that I have um, around the club and uh, and within the club and. Um, and as I'm sure I have made a lot of mistakes, but uh, all the time trying to do the best uh, for the club and the players. And just another word on Saka, you touched on him before with his two goals. Um, well, just looking ahead to 2022, what is his potential going forward, do you think? We don't know. Uh, what I know is, um, or what I expect is what he does all the time. That is, uh, he works extremely hard, he's a really humble boy. And, um, and he has a really special connection with this football club. Um, his talent obviously is unquestionable, but he needs his teammates, he needs his environment, he needs a cool head and he needs a very clear direction of what he wants to become. So time will tell. Hello, Mikhail. Uh, just on that turnaround before the half club kickoff in two days, how, how is that possible for the players? Or is it possible at all? Well, to get in, in good uh, physical condition, no, because the players need more time to recover. But um, we know, you know, we play in England. In England, you know, you have to play every two or three days in the Christmas period. Um, ideally, if everybody plays within the same um, congestion fixtures, uh, it would be much better. But the circumstances now are not uh, the normal ones. So we have to adapt and we have to try everything is in our hand to try to be in the best possible condition to, to perform and win the match. Classy for me. Um, that's 19 goals you scored in the last five games, I think. Um, you mentioned the sort of the way that you've been a bit more decisive in the final third, but what, what's changed across the team to allow that? It's a big change from just a few months ago. Well, there are a few things, but um, I insist the better we play, the better understand the spaces, how we have to attack, the movement, the timing, the cohesion and the execution becomes better, um, you get in much better condition into the final third. And when that happens and you are clear ideas of how you have to attack those situations, um, goals will come or, or goal situation would come and then it would come down to the to the effectiveness of the players in, in that decision making. Thank you. Thank you. Mark from PA. Just another one. You said no excuses, of course with playing so close together but when when there is a debate over player welfare and things like that how can you be expected to play twice in less than 48 hours we already have done and we had a, a, a manager's meeting when we um try to expose our feelings and, and the situation but the decisions are made so um now we're not going to change that was that something you brought up at the meeting sorry was that something in particular that you brought up at the meeting Yes, what I basically said that we are discussing two things, which is welfare of the players and the integrity of the competition. And uh, in this situation, I think we are wasting our time if we are trying to accomplish both of them. Because then people are saying that we have to use common sense. And common sense in this situation, again, <laughs> it doesn't work. So whether we change the rule, we change the testing system, we change whatever we change, or we cannot continue to do that, trying to achieve those two things, because um, it's just impossible.